Hey folks, and welcome back to Glenn and Adrian's Rock Talk. That's Adrian. Your name's Glenn. And today we're going to talk about a Fleetwood Mac song from 1970 called Oh Well. Oh Well is the one song that the latter-day Fleetwood Mac would often cover in their concerts along with the Rumors album and and, uh, the other latter-day hits that they had. It's kind of a throwback to the early days when they started as a blues band under Peter Green. And this is a Peter Green song. Peter Green also wrote songs such as Black Magic Woman, which was famously covered by Santana. And also the Green Man Alishi, which has been covered by Judas Priest. A lot of guitarists have had a soft spot in their hearts for Oh Well, because it's kind of fun to play and it's kind of fun to listen to. So we found a clip. And so I've never seen the clip. Adrian has never even heard the song. So we think. So we're going to just dive right into it. Adrian, anything you want to, Adrian, anything that you want to um, add before we start? Uh, I just look forward to seeing this, checking this out. Good. Okay. Do you know much about the early Fleetwood Mac? You ever heard anything? I heard that, uh, yeah, that they were more bluesy than the uh, famous one with you know Stevie mm-hmm. Nicks and Christy McVie, or I, I don't right. know how, I don't know the history of the band really. He actually left the band because he kind of had a bad acid trip at a party, and his personality changed. And so oh. suddenly he, he kind of drifted away. And unfortunately, he never really came back from that. He was kind of similar to Sid in that way, although I think he was a little bit more uh, able to handle his affairs, you know, unlike Sid. Okay, well, so here we go. We're now going to do our latest single called Oh Well. <laughs> Sing, I ain't pretty and my legs are thin But don't ask me what I think of you I might not give the answer that you want me to <laughs> Stick by me and I'll be your garden hand But don't ask me what I think of you I might not give the answer that you want me to <laughs> Any thoughts, Adrian? Oh, my God. That was the best Fleetwood Mac I've ever heard. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's you know, what I kind of liked. You know, yeah, uh, that's what I'm telling you. As a kid, like during the 70s, I was kind of force-fed their later stuff. Uh, Fleetwood oh, yeah. Mac, rumors, <laughs> stuff like that. But, well, yeah, that stuff was coming out as we were still kids, you know. Yeah. So. So, yeah, that's what was all over the radio, and, and everybody completely forgot about everything that happened before that. Yeah, that Fleetwood Mac, the White Album, that's got uh, John McVie looking like a midget, that record was like their 10th album, and, and then that. Rumors was their 11th. So they had a long history before that, but John mm-hmm. McVie is actually um, 
standing in such a way that there's there's two holes in this piece of wood, I believe, that his feet go through. And then he looks like he's a midget, but it's really just cutting him at the knees. You know, you can't see below the knees. So, yeah, yeah, this is the kind of stuff that I've always liked the most from Fleetwood Mac, uh, the Peter Green era. Now, that's not to say that there weren't great eras in between Peter Green and that later, you know, Buckingham Knicks era that everybody knows. Uh, they also had people, in fact, there were a few in the video there, Jeremy Spencer and Danny Kierwan were there next to Peter Green. And they're both guitar players. One of them was playing maracas. Jeremy Spencer generally did Elvis and uh, Elvin Jones type songs, you know, uh, covers and things. And he sang that way, kind of rockabilly guy. Danny Kirwan was a very young guitar player. He's probably 20 years old in that clip, maybe 19. You know, he was the bong guy in the middle. Yeah, he was kind of a tragic figure in the band, but he did make it into the Hall of Fame. He ended up um, writing about half of one of their best albums from the early days called Bear Trees. So definitely a worthwhile figure who's kind of a footnote in history. You know, whenever I have a chance, I like to bring up the uh, the early Fleetwood Mac era, just so people are aware of it. Because a lot of people have no idea that there's this whole other realm of Fleetwood Mac you can visit. Mm -hmm. So that was it. I thought it would be a good a good idea for a show. And um, it sounds like you enjoy it, so that's good. I, I dug the clip. <laughs> Never seen that before. Um, you know, I haven't really seen much of anything of Peter Green on video, so... Okay, well, so uh, people out there, if you saw the early Fleetwood Mac, boy, we'd love to hear about that. Uh, tell us all about it below in the comments. And uh, if you liked this video, please give it a like. And if you enjoy our presentation, please subscribe. And uh, we'll just keep doing it <laughs> until, until the crowd forms around our house and says, no, stop. So, mm -hmm. so with that, uh, we're going to bid you adieu, and we'll see you very soon. All right, take care, folks. See y'all later.